One of the main aims of the rationalist movement in India has been to show that stunts which purport to be miraculous can in fact be performed by ordinary people, untouched by religious faith. Veteran guru buster B. Brahmanand has trained hundreds to perform the most dramatic displays from the Godman's repertoire. These volunteers are local men, mechanics, lorry drivers and clerks. Like their teacher, most of them were brought up as Hindus, but have rejected their religion. But they are keen to show that rationalists can put on as good a show as any holy man. Today's volunteers are an engineer and the secretary of a local rationalist club who has never tried this kind of stunt before. <laughs> At religious festivals, devotees pull wooden chariots with hooks threaded through the skin of their back. Premanand's men are going one further. They're going to haul this jeep. <laughs> There is no pain, first of all. No pain? No pain. And uh, the second thing is, our three layers of skin can take a weight of 80 kilos. And here, pulling a jeep uh, uh, by hooks on the body is easier because two people are putting four. And it will be very easy. Cheering themselves on by chanting the name of a local rationalist hero, the volunteers prove the strength and elasticity of their skin, a test of physiology rather than faith. And when the hooks are withdrawn, there's no bleeding at all. This is only manpower, not anything extraordinary like God. Any man can do this thing if he is an unhealthy man. No, fearless. Fearless. When fearless. I believed in all these miracles as a person born in a Hindu family. I thought I should also have such powers. And uh, I went around India to find out a guru who can give me such powers. I had to return back when I found that they were all tricksters. Now 65, Premanand has spent 40 years campaigning against fraudulent godmen. He has compiled a dossier of 1,500 spurious miracles and publishes details in his own journal, The Indian Skeptic. And his campaign is gathering momentum. He now runs training courses for young guru busters. This man is learning how to levitate. <laughs> when he's safely landed, Premanand reveals a supernatural secret. What is the hidden thing? These are the hidden things. He simply gets up with the stick and people think it is the feet. And he just uh, uh, lifts up the head like this and people think uh, he has levitated. And then uh, he comes down, he comes down and then he goes to sleep. Oh dear. This macabre stunt is often performed by holy men, but the volunteer today is a manual labourer and he has never done it before. With the cloth tied over his face, he is stood on his head and planted upside down in a hole. Then the hole is filled with sand, and his head is completely buried. But the man doesn't suffocate, because the sand is dry and air can still get through, just enough for him to breathe. <laughs> 
For the past uh, 50 years, I have been in search of a miracle. And my one ambition is to see a miracle before I die. If any one of you believe that you have seen a miracle, please let us know where it is happening so that we can come there and see whether it is a real miracle. And if it is a real miracle, let me die peacefully 